All right, so here's my fishing action cam. What I did is I took an old motorcycle mount. This goes on your chin, on your helmet, and then you would mount your GoPro on that. I didn't need that anymore, so I just put this around a lead weight that I made. This was a lead weight that I made for a crab trap that I have. So I have holes drilled in it and a slot cut in it to make it easier to tie things onto it. So check it out. This weight is about one to two kilograms, so it's gonna sink down easily. And it'll go down fast, and when it lands, it's gonna land and the camera is going to be balanced as long as it's on a flat surface. I've got about another 150 feet of paracord on here. So the paracord's tied onto this. I've got the paracord wrapped around the weight and around the camera a couple of times. And I'm gonna put one more fail safe on here. I'm actually going to put some wire through here and tie that onto the rope too before I actually toss this out into the ocean just to make sure, just in case something snags on the rock or something uh, breaks loose. And there it is. You'll see the footage later. I'm gonna take this out to where the wall is in Mactan. And uh, let's just drop it down about 100 feet and see what happens down at the right, bottom of the ocean. Version 2.0. I added a metal wire. I can bend it and position it however I want, however high. And I ran it through the holes in the bottom of my lead weight that I made. Twisted it here so it can't come off. And in the front. And I can tie any hook I want onto the end. I can just make a loop and hang it off the end here. This will be a good bait cam to see how the fish are stealing bait and how they're reacting to different kinds of baits that are down there. So once again, here's my spool. I've got a hundred and fifty feet or so of nine strand paracord tied to my China GoPro. It's actually the brand name is the Eye. It's actually a pretty decent camera, about fifty dollars US or about 2,500 here in the Philippines. And once again, I can move this up, bend it, put it wherever I want it. All right, we're getting ready to go out. Let's see how it works. So I edited this part of the audio because I'm talking to my action cam and it's in a waterproof case. You're not gonna be able to hear anything, but uh, check it out, man. I put some squid on a hook. This is a number 10 hook, so it has to be a pretty decent sized fish to take it. Let's see what the bait stealers do to this. This is some squid on the action cam. Right over there where I'm pointing, that's Uncle Mike's. It's right next to Plantation Bay. And uh, we're in about 25 feet of water right now. We're going to drop it down and see the fish's reaction. You might be a little surprised watching the fish. Let's check it out. So right away, right when it hits, you can see some fish coming over already. But you notice when it stops moving, the fish isn't too interested in it. But you'll see in a bit, every time I move my dead bait, the fish go crazy. So this is just the first fish. Let's see what happens when more of them come to it. It's like he's just checking it out, just like waiting for it to move so he can hit it again. Watch what happens when uh, another fish comes in and he hits it. It kind of starts a little feeding frenzy later. Look at this. That one fish was totally not interested in it until another fish came around. Then he bit it and then he bit it and now they're attacking it. So when it's moving, the fish are going crazy and this is just dead squid. This is a squid I cut up and it's probably a couple months old. It's been sitting in the freezer. But once it's moving, they're going crazy, man. They like the squid. But what they're really doing is they're feeding off of each other's actions. Let's see what happens when more fish come. Once again, you can see they're not really interested until one of them takes a bite. And then look at that, even a different species comes in. Now they all just start attacking it. It's like that bait needs to be moving. Even though it's a dead bait, that bait needs to be moving in order for them to hit it. Something interesting you should know about dead bait. Check it out. 
keep it moving, man. Get more bites. So there's a big rock structure here. I decided to move this. I'm actually up on top of the water snorkeling as I'm watching it. I've got a mini fishing pole in my hand and I'm testing jigs. I'm kind of jigging around the rocks as I'm watching this to see what happens. So it's about time to move this. I'm trying to get a little bit closer to the rocks to see if anything will come out of the crevices like down here in that hole. Just trying to get some more action. So let's uh, reset it and see if we can get something else happening. And once again, you're going to see that the fish are following this dead bait. As long as my dead bait is moving, they are interested. That's actually pretty interesting. So now I've got the bait in a different spot. You see my wire is working out perfectly. I could bend it or rig it any way I want to keep the bait off the ground or higher or lower or right in front of the camera, however I like it. I just rigged it up for today because we're going to be testing it out in some deeper water that on my fish finder last week had a lot of fish there. So we're going to be checking that out probably next week. So this is just a testing video to see how the camera works. And as you can see, it's dead because the bait's not moving. That's weird. Now this gets crazy. Check this out. There's nothing happening. And there hasn't been for the last five minutes. So I decided to move it and watch the fish. They all get crazy and chase it like it's some kind of live bait. Look at that. It's like they're only going after it if it looks like it's alive, even though it's just squid. So anyways, I decided to bring it up, check it out. There's me. I'm snorkeling in the water. I've got a little mini fishing pole in my hand, and I'm going to start dropping some jigs and try to get them down by the camera. Let's see if we can't get the fish to bite on those. Let's try it. So I'm trying to get it closer to this rock structure. Hoping I can lure some bigger fish out when I start dropping my jigs. And look at this. Immediately, when that bait hits the ground, they just start attacking it. These are all the bait stealers. The ones that are tugging that you think you got a fish, but you don't. There they are. Look at them all. It's like there is a feeding frenzy for one little piece of squid. That's crazy. So this is what it looks like, guys, underwater when you drop your bait down. On the way down, you get those hits right away. It's all these little bait stealers. And you'll see I'm going to throw a jig out in a second and watch what happens. It's crazy. So it was hard to get this jig on camera because as it dropped down from where I was snorkeling, every fish tried to hit it on the way down until finally this lizard fish grabbed it. But here it is. It's a uh, soft plastic and it's got a two gram jig head. I got these from Pamasol. That's over in Cordoba in Cebu. Uh, and that jig was hit by every fish on the way down until that lizard fish grabbed it. Here it is, check it out. If there would have been some bigger fish around, they would have grabbed it too. Like I said, every fish was trying to hit this thing on the way down, but the lizard fish grabbed it. I think I have one more clip where you can see the action of this jig as the fish are following it. Let's see if I can find that. So this perfectly good squid has been sitting here for a few minutes now and earlier there was a big feeding frenzy on it and now absolutely nothing, no fish even in the screen. Just watch now when I drop this little jig down. You'll see all the fish start to take notice. Huge difference, there it is. Check it out. From no fish in the screen to one and then two, three, four, five, six and they all notice it, they all go after it. Pretty cool. So if you learn one thing today, you learn that every once in a while, wiggle your line, jig that dead bait, because once it moves, look at that, the fish are all over it. It's just sitting there, and they don't want anything to do with it. You start moving it, they're all over it. I just wish we were in a spot where there were some bigger fish. Here they go again. That bait was moving, they followed it, they'll attack it for a while until they get tired of it. And I'm just gonna wait for it to move again, then attack it some more. 
think I've got another jig. Let's try a different jig. So next is this little soft lure. It's a little ultralight micro soft plastic that I have on a three gram jig. Seems like the fish just want to get it away from them. Some were biting it on the legs, but most of the fish were just trying to get it out of their area, almost like it was a threat to them. It was nothing like that white plastic one I had where everybody was hitting it. This one's a little different. They just wanted to get it out of the way. Well, this test served its purpose. We're going to be taking it out to some deep water with the fish finder and see if we can't put some bigger bait on there and actually rig it up to our pole and then try to do some, uh, some fishing, some underwater fishing too. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, give this a thumbs up, man. I, I appreciate it. People that want to see more, I like doing this kind of stuff, so just... Uh, Subscribe to my channel, man. I'll be posting more videos like this soon. See ya.